Hi Libra, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is going to be your July 2021 reading. It's a very general reading. So take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. You know the drill. Uh, we're going to look at what's happening for you for the month ahead. What you can keep in mind. And what is it that uh, is coming through in the form of guidance. And overall what you can expect for this month. Okay. Alright. Wow. Wow. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. Um, this is about <sighs> trying to strike a balance in some way, in some area of your life. And uh, you may not be right now, um, you know. You may be kind of going back and forth about a situation, trying to make a decision. And that's the loop that you kind of tend to get stuck in, okay? And so unless you drop that one pentacle, you won't be able to move forward in a way. So this can be about decision making. It can also be about you trying to manage uh, two aspects of your life or two different, um, yeah, two different aspects of your life which are demanding your attention, your energy, your investment, okay? Speaking of investment, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very grounded. It's very earthy. This could have something to do with your safety, security, stability, uh, or at least trying to achieve that. Okay. So this decision that we are seeing with the Two of Pentacles could revolve around uh, what do I invest in in order to become more safe, more secure, more stable. In my life it could have something to do with your home family life could also have something to do with your career business finances okay anything that uh, that uh, represents your security and stability to you this could also be a person that you're dealing with okay not necessarily female but um, if this is about a relationship and that is what you're kind of going back and forth about. Okay. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The next card out we have here is the world. It feels to me like uh, you're at a crossroads. You need to make a choice, a decision of some sorts and wrap up some aspect, some cycle of your life and move into a new phase. This is like you uh, graduating into a new in some way okay so whether this is literally graduation or you know you stepping out of a cycle uh, that you have successfully completed or something has perhaps um, come to its natural conclusion okay either way you carry a lot of wisdom with the world it being the last card of the major arcana you reached a point where you've learned the lessons that you needed uh, to learn during this entire journey, this entire phase or this cycle, okay? And you're ready to move forward. And speaking of moving forward, we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands, again, is, is very similar to the Two of Pentacles in a way that uh, there is some choice, some decisions that you need to make here all right you get to choose the one path that you want to so that you don't basically lose balance and wobble all right, all right. with the two of wands this is a merchant holding the globe looking out um, standing on the precipice looking out into the horizon thinking about what should i do next what should be my next step and making plans strategizing and also taking action in that regard so i feel like you have reached some kind of a crossroads where uh, the old is is has come to a natural conclusion and you're ready to step forward into the new in some way okay we have here the power and the ace of pentacles i'm sorry the ace of swords 
I get a feeling like this is either some communication coming to you out of the blue um, or this is some epiphany or realization that brings this clarity that you are seeking in order to move forward okay you being absolutely sure about the way forward uh, since we are talking about decision making the ace of swords provides that clarity to make that decision that one firm decision okay let's clarify these cards and we'll get a better idea of what's happening for you libra okay so the queen of pentacles what's that about let's clarify the queen of pentacles You have the star let's get one more okay we get two more and the ace of swords again and the devil okay for the world card we have the hermit and the six of cups for the two of wands let's get some clarifiers the nine of pentacles and the emperor okay and for the tower and the ace of swords the queen of swords <laughs> all right and the magician nice at the bottom of this deck now we have the six of wands which is a card of victory success overcoming obstacles challenges on your path okay nice so the queen of pentacles is clarified by the aquarius card the star and the ace of swords and the devil now for those of you where this is a connection a relationship that you are going back and forth with i feel like you are um, being guided in some way you are trying to decide about this connection you want to also perhaps free yourself in some way uh, the devil can be someone or something that is very tempting, that is, um, you know, very alluring. But at the same time, it can keep you stuck. So whatever it is that you're giving your power away to, whether it is fear, uh, self-doubt, you know, patterns of thinking, patterns of behavior, karmic cycles, karmic patterns whatever that may be it is time for you to cut through that okay and to follow your true north follow your your guidance that you're receiving okay and this has to do with what it is that's bringing you a sense of safety security stability so where take it as it resonates if it applies in a partnership then you might feel like you need to make a decision about this instead of going back and forth but you might also be feeling kind of stuck here all right um, with the world card we have the six of cups and the hermit so like i said previously uh, you've reached a stage where you are applying or you're ready to apply the wisdom, the lessons, the, the learning that you have acquired through this phase, through this uh, particular cycle that you have been in. Okay, And of course, it, uh, it is about the past. It is about 
where you've been or how far you've come okay the six of cups is about the past about nostalgia it is um also about soul connections but in this context i feel that you're ready to move on in some way okay at least that's what you're feeling guided to do okay then we have here the two of wands clarified by the nine of pentacles and the emperor this is about ownership about you know self empowerment a uh, working on that which brings you a sense of you know safety security stability and if this has something to do with your career then that is what you're trying to decide about planning strategizing taking action making the necessary changes and that's what the emperor is very good at this is an a very self assured and self empowered energy both of these cards nines to me are about individual power and individual strength so in this case i i feel that you're focusing on yourself you are taking back your power from whatever or whoever you had given it to and you're ready to you know move on or move forward in some way this is a very self assured self empowered energy and it, i really like seeing that okay for some of you where this is a partnership or this is about you know a connection a relationship then you might be at a crossroads and you might be deciding to actually uh you know move towards being single again that is quite possible but for others of you this has to do with you building something for yourself which lasts the test of time okay building an empire for yourself with the tower and the ace of pentacles i mean why do i keep saying pentacles with the tower and the ace of swords we have the queen of swords and the magician so like i said either this is an epiphany that helps you decide that brings you this showing absolute clarity about the situation and being able to be firm and decisive and of course this is your energy aries gemini libra aquarius so this is very much uh you know up your alley and the magician is working with the law of attraction manifestation okay but again it's also a mercurial card so this could either be some if epiphany that you're getting some realization uh like an awakening you could say or uh, you know a, like you're waking up to some undeniable truth of the situation which brings you clarity or this is some communication coming your way which paves the way forward which helps you decide which helps you move forward and which helps you manifest what it is you want okay nice let's get one card from the moonology oracle deck and we'll see what message wants to come through for you we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius that is what the star is about following your north node being authentic to yourself being guided um even if that makes you feel vulnerable following that which you are feeling guided to do okay um and of course aquarius is very rebellious they are not afraid of their their quirkiness or their uniqueness and uh it's a uranus energy so this is about following that and being that which you are 
authentically aligned to okay from the bottom of the deck we have a win-win outcome is forecast which is a libra card full moon in libra so this is about something bringing something being brought back to balance okay there is no loss in this situation even even if you let go of something or someone it's a win-win outcome for both of you okay uh, for you and the other person or you and the other situation in a way what this is assuring you of is um, a fair and just outcome okay beneath that is a new romantic cycle begins so where this is about a partnership then you're opening up the space for something new to emerge out of this okay we have wolf instinct and this is about you following your instinct even if you need to be the lone wolf it is an energy of empowerment of leadership okay so not being afraid to tread the paths even if you need to do so alone is what i'm getting here we have celebration nice so there is some cause for celebration here i feel and at the bottom of the deck we have breach that's pretty much what i was saying you know uh to break out of this cycle to breach a particular pattern or situation cycle that you have been in um, it's going to require some strength it's going to require you to be authentic it's going to require you to follow your instinct but also it's going to help you um, come into alignment with your true path or your true north okay so don't be afraid to breach to to take a risk or to step out of the you know go against the grain in some way is is what i'm getting let's get one last card as your advice what is the advice for libra you get the queen of wands and from the bottom of the deck we have page of wands these are both uh, very adventurous energies. The page is ready to embark on a new journey, on uh, following his uh, instinct and being very curious. The, the Queen of Wands is someone who does follow her instinct. That is what the Black Cat signifies to me. And uh, she is empowered, definitely. She knows what she wants and she goes after it. She's bold, she's courageous. She's uh, very convinced of, uh, you know, her desires and how she wants to go about fulfilling them. So that is the energy that you're being asked to embody here, to go after your dreams, to follow your ambitions, to follow your instincts, okay? Because that's featuring the most here. And that's what you are perhaps going back and forth about and it's time to walk through that portal and to make a firm decision okay that is what i have for you libra i hope this made sense and uh, i hope it brought you some clarity and some hope some inspiration if you enjoy the reading do hit the like button and engage with the video however you can and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, i would love to have you on board thank you again for your time and for watching do take care of yourself have a fabulous july bye bye